Welcome, my name is Jasmine and if you're new here, I like to make lifestyle productive and gym related content. So if you would like to see more of that, consider subscribing. I vacationed in Hawaii for the first time this year. If you're planning your trip to Hawaii and it is your first time, here are a few things that you need to know. But first, let me go change because I just got back from the gym. Okay, I'm back. I changed my clothes. I got my kombucha. So I'm ready. Let's get started. Number one, do plan in advance. You don't want to get there and think that you'll just be able to book your excursion for that same day. Trust me, you will be disappointed. I wanted to do horseback riding at Kualoa Ranch, but the tickets were sold out for the day that I wanted to go. So I do suggest booking your excursions two to three weeks in advance. Number two, visit one island only. If you're traveling for a week or less than a week, I do suggest just visiting one island to get the full experience. I was in Oahu for a week and a half and I still feel like there was still much more to see. Number three, rent a car. When I was staying in Oahu, we did rent a car for the second part of our stay, which was amazing because if we didn't, we wouldn't have been able to see the rest of what the island had to offer. There were so much more beautiful sights to see than just Waikiki. So I do suggest going outside of Waikiki and exploring the other parts of the island. That leads me to number four, don't overspend on your hotel. You don't need to stay at a five-star hotel. I stayed at the Hilton Hawaiian Village and the Olohalani Resort, but I honestly did not use any of their amenities while I was there. I just went there to sleep, literally. I was out most of the time. Also, there aren't any all-inclusive hotels in Oahu. I didn't know that. Number five, do try local foods. Now, Hawaii is known for their food trucks, so we did try a couple. And there's this one that we just kept going back to called Nome Uno Food. It's a one-man show. This guy is amazing. The way he cooks his food is so tasty. I tried three of his dishes. I tried the chopped steak, the spicy garlic shrimp, and the garlic chicken and shrimp. They were all amazing. Number six, don't ignore warning signs. They're there for a reason. You don't wanna put yourself in danger and you don't wanna put others in danger. So please respect and watch out for those warning signs. Number seven, wear reef safe sunscreen. Now, I didn't know that there was sunscreen that was reef safe and sunscreen that wasn't, but I did do my research and I did buy reef safe sunscreen on Amazon. This is the one that I bought. It wasn't expensive. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Now, there's two bonus things that I want to mention that you should do when you're visiting Oahu. And one of them is visiting the North Shore. They have the most beautiful beaches there. My favorite one is Waimea Bay. And that beach had beautiful sand. The water felt so good. I was able to catch the sunset there. I did lose my GoPro there, but... Nonetheless, that beach is amazing. The other one is hiking Diamond Head. The hike to the top was very strenuous. There was a lot of stairs. It was hot. The sun was beaming down on you. But once you get to the top, you'll be amazed by the view. You get a view of the whole Waikiki area. That is it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.